hello friend let's start with this third exercise of number system class 9th so here we have to determine the whether it is terminating or non-terminating first of all I would like to explain you about the terminating it is terminating so it will have the specific value like 1.5 maybe 2.375 so it must have to be terminate okay so let's talk about 36 so if it is 100 is the 100 divided by 36 just divide it will be 0 point so there it is 0 so like 3 times so it will give you 100 300 then 60 is there if it is 60 just like you can take the 0 now just by 6 times so it will get 600 and remainder as a 0 so it's basically a once remainder is 0 it's a terminating value and the answer is 0.36 okay so it's a terminating value let's talk about the 1 by 11 so 11 is there and 1 is there so it will be 0 point so if it is 0 then it will be 0 now if we are getting 0 so it will be 0 we will take for 9 so 99 I get 1 we have already considered the 0 decimal so no need to do take 0 again so 0 0 9 again so 99 1 0 0 9 so we will find a pattern like so now 9 is repeating again again so on right so even, af even after this I will divide I will get the same pattern like 0, 0, 0. 0.0999 so basically in this situation I find it that it's a, like 0, 0.0 will remain same and 9 will be the bar only 9 will be the bar it's a non terminating but repeating value is there so non terminating you find 9999 so on is there but such a repeating value and the same way shall I do it for this 4 8 for me so I'll just tell you you have to just multiply this 4 into 8 38 plus 1 will give you 33 33 by 8 just do the normal division now 8 divided by 33 so we'll get this as a 4.25 so it's a terminating value then next is 3 by 13 so here it is 13 by 3 so guys 0 0.30 so 2 so we'll get 26 then I'll have 4 then 0 39 so I just do the division and find it like 0 0.230769 up to this 9 the values are changing and after this again I got the same thing like 230769 which is nothing but the same value so what I find is 230769 after this the values are repeating hence it's a non-terminating but repeating value let's talk about the 2 by 11 so again 0 0.18 after division you will find it's a non-terminating value but repeating and once divide 400 by 329 so just divide it 0 point you will get 0 so you will find this as a value so which is terminating let's talk about the next question which is question number 2 so 1 by 7 is already given which is 0 0.142857 bar we need to determine for 2 by 7 so guys 2 by 7 can be written as 2 into 1 by 7 it is same like if it is like 2x so we can write this as a 2 into x separate if 2 pi x so we can write this 2 into 1 by x ok same way I just write it there 2 by s 7 as a 2 into 1 by 7 but 1 by 7 is having the fixed value which is given 0 0.142857 just multiply with 2 now first of all 2 2 into 7 2 into 7 will give you 14 carry 1 2 into 5 10 carry 1 where the so this will become 11 and carry 1 2 into 8 16 carry 1 there 16 plus 1 17 carry 1 again 2 into 2 4 carry 1 where the so 5 now I have don't have any carry forward so let's now do the 2 into 4 so I'll get 8 and 2 into 1 will get 2 so this will be my answer in the same way for 3 by 7 so you can write 3 into 1 by 7 3 as it is just 7 as it is this value 1 upon 7 just multiply 3 into 7 so we'll get this as a different different value I hope this calculation you can do by its own I am done with the concept I hope you have no doubt in the concept so let's come to the next question which is question number 3 consider the question number three so well guys 
we have to express in the q by p by q form so very important problem so let's see if the 0 0.6 pi is here. so it means 0 0.6666661 is repeating so let's see write this as x since after point is a single term so I'll just multiply by 10 so we'll get 10x so here I will get 6.66661 so what I will do 6.6 can be written as 6 plus 0 0.66661 write 10x as it is and you will find this 6 as it is and 0 0.666 I have assumed this as x right so this x comes here and it will give you 9x 9x as a 6 so x is equal to 6 by 9 it will give me 2 by 3 so finally I will get 2 by 3 as my answer I hope this 3 problem is clear to you let's come to the next problem which is question number 4 so let's discuss the question number 4 in this question it's 0 0.4 7 bar is a remember bar is on the 7 like 0 0.47777 so 4 is fixed 7 is repeating so let's see this is the x so if we we'll multiply well in this case before doing anything just do one thing if we'll do the uh, this four this separate before doing this x term just do the separation like what we will get as a can we write this four and seven as a four by ten four by ten four by ten nothing but zero point four right plus zero point seven 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 as it is why because seven seven why i'm writing because this is the term which is repeating so I somehow if some problem will be there in in which one term is not repeating like 0 0.4 is not repeating but 77 are repeating so just first of all make this separate this is the concept this will be very helpful okay so just separate it first and then just write all the term as it is so first of all we will assume x as a the term which are repeating only yes this is very easy concept very important concept like this term this is all given in all the videos which I can find it in the future. So just please focus here assume x the term which are repeating only. Okay. So now you have to do the same concept like on the multiplication of 10. So you get 10x as a 7.7777 so on. Now the remaining step will remain same as the previous one the 7 as it is 0 0.7777 so on. So 10x is here right so this term as a written as x so finally this x will be here and we'll get 9 and x as a 7 so we'll get x as a 7 by 9 so at last we need to put that value x here only so uh, see here please see here now so 4 by 10 that is as it is and 0 0.777 bar instead of this I just replace it by 7 by 9 why 90 is because I got 7 by 9 but earlier it was 10 is here so 7 by 9 into 10 would give 7 by 90 just do the normal LCM part the fraction part either I can explain you 10 and 90 they take the LCM will get 90 divide 10 by 90 you will get 9 just multiply that 9 by numerator part will be 4 to 9 36 once again 90 divided by 90 will give you 1 1 into 7 will give you 7 so find the addition will be 43 by 90 let's see here in this problem it's 0 0.001 so in this problem 0 0.001 is repeating it's not like that 00, 0 uh, I mean as it is a 1 1 is repeating no not like that it's 0 0.001 it's repeating like this so if you see up to what it is repeating 0 0.01 3 decimals 3 values so we'll multiply by 1000 previously it was repeating from 0 0.7 1 decimal so 1 multiply by 10 3 values are 0 0 1 3 values are repeating so multiply by 1000 if 2 values are repeating so multiply by 100 1 values are repeating like 0 0.6 0 0.7 so multiply by 10 I hope the concept is clear to you ok so let's do the same thing if I multiply it I find it the value as a here is the value let's see so 1000x 1.001 because I multiplied by 1000 so I got 1.001 so let's see the remaining problem as a x which is repeating so find the x will be here and we will get 999x by 1 so x is a 1 by 999
I hope it is clear to you. Let's come to the next problem. Express 0 0.39, I think. So 99 is there. P by Q form. The step will be same. X equal to 0 0.99. So after one decimal, it is repeating. So multiply by 1, 110 only. So 10x is equal to 9.9999. So on. Right. So this 9 can be 9, 0 0.9999. So on. Right. Okay. So 9 plus this whole term is a x. Okay. This x will come here. This will become 9x. So 9x is equal to 9. So x is equal to 9 by 9. It will give you 1. So get this as an answer. Let's see the next problem, which is question number 5. What can be maximum number of digit be in the repeating block of the digit in the decimal expansion of 1 by 17? So we will perform the division to check your answer. So guys, you need to just do the division. I think it's really it's not that much tough. Just do the normal division like 17 is there, 1 is there. Okay. Just do the normal division. So I put my 0, so I'll get here 1. Once again, I need to consider 0, 100. Then after 5, so I'll get 17, 5, 85. Here it will be 5. 15 will remaining, so just do the 0. Then after, you'll just do by 8. Okay, so after 8, so on. If you do the normal division, you'll find the answer to be a large value like 0 0.058823529411. Seven six four seven. After this much of value, the value will start repeating. Like you have to just do the normal division, and after this, the value. So just count the value, and you will find this value is nothing but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, fourteen, fifteen. So about sixteen digits are there. After that, this is start repeating. Okay. And let's say the question number seven six. Look at the several example less than p by q and p by q are integer with no common factor other than one. So you will see the problem. They are talking that uh, talking about the numerator and the denominator will have no common factor rather than one. Like if you will consider nine by four, so this will have no any common factor rather than one, right? You can consider any value. Like if you like consider start with the one by two, one by two. So if we divide 2 by 1, so 0 0.5. So it's a terminating value. If you like consider any value like 5 by 2. So again it's a terminating value. We'll get an idea like we will divide it by 2, so it will be terminating, which is very easy. Let's talk about the 3. Next so 1 by 3. So I got 0 0.3333 so on, right? Why? Because 3 is there divided by 1. So 0 point so 10, 3 so 9, 1, 3, 3, so on, right? Even if I'll divide by 10 by 3, so I'll get 3.3333, so on. So guys, if you consider 3, then it's not a repeating. It's a repeating value. Repeating will be now. I find it repeating as a 3. Now let's talk about the 4. If I divide by 4, 4 divided by any value. Like if you do it here, let's see. Like 4 divided by 1. 0 0.0. So let's say 2. So I'll get 8, so 2 is there, so if I'll do 0, 4, 5 is there, so 0 0.25, again a terminating value, non repeating value, okay, so it's a terminating, so again 4 as a terminating, I find it, 5, 5 is very easy to do the calculation, like 1 by 5, so 1 by 5, 5 divided by 1, so it's like 0 0.2, it's a terminating, so again 5 is a terminating, if I consider 7, let's talk about the 7, so 7 by 1, so it's uh, 0 0.1 so like one times 7 and I'll get 3 here then uh, 0 just put 4 I'll get 28 so carry is now remaining is 2 so I'll just 0 so I'll get 7 2 is 14 so I'll get 6 remaining is 6 so I'll get now right 7 3 just send 2 then I get 2 7 14 then 6 then do 7 8 is 56 so I'll get 4 so I got 4 now again so again 0 so 7 5 is 35 so I got 5 now again if it had got the 5 so it is got repeating like this way 7 7 is 49 so the terms are getting repeated now right so terminating non terminating repeating value so it's a 7 is there let's talk about the 8 if it is 1 by 8 like 
1 by 8 so just 2 to 8 by 1 0 0.1 times 8 by 2 so 0 8 to the 16 so look at here now 16 4 is a 8 5 is a 40 0 0.125 is a fixed value so it's a terminating value and last if we'll consider 9 so 9 divided by let's say by any value 1 0 0.9 9 again 1 so 0 0.999 is a non terminating repeating value on last 10 so okay 10 is a repeating value so this how you can find the answer for this okay which is very easy guys write three number whose decimal expansion question number seven whose decimal expansion are non terminating and non recurring value so non terminating and non recurring you can take any value non terminating and non recurring and non repeating like so consider any value just like a uh, I just consider like uh, here anyway so like uh, I'll just consider 11.1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 2 3 3 5 so on just do this it must not be repeating any value you can consider okay when you just tell me any value like 8 3 5 6 7 8 3 5 7 point 3 2 1 4, 4 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, and consider any value, okay? That is very easy. Okay, clear to you. I hope it's very easy. Let's do the question number 8 now. So, let's say question number 8. We need to find here the rational number. Uh, the find 3 rational number between 2 rational number. So, finding the irrational number, first of all, do the division part. Like, so what I am going to do like 5 by 7 just divide 7 by 5 so I'll get the value as a 0 0.74285 and we'll divide 9 by 11 okay, 0 0.81 so just draw the number line here is the value like 0 0.81 and this is the value like 0 0.714285 we need to find the number between this number between this so so for three rational number you can consider any value this i have considered here 730 because start from 71 now so i'll just consider 730 then 7300 7300 7340 so on dot 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 is not repeating right you can consider any value then i have 73 then you can consider 74 75 so on for 77 76 78 79 because the 0 0.81 is the last value then consider any value between them it's quite easy now. I hope it is clear to you. Let's come to the next problem. It's question number nine. Well, if you want to do for the this one, question number nine. So here we have to find the square root. So first of all, you have to find the square root. If you know how to find the square root, then it's good for you. Otherwise, I'll just tell you how to find the square root. Let's see. If it is 23 is here, let's start with the 23. Just do this. 23. You have to think any number whose square must be less than 23. So I consider 1, so 1 square will be 1, which is quite less than 23. If I consider 2, 2 square is 4, which is quite less than 23. Let's some more, 3, 9, 4, 16. So if I consider 5, then I'll get more than 23. So less than of that. So I'll consider here 4. So I'll get 4. So I'll just write it here, 4 as a quotient. Like, so in square root, what you need to do is just add on left hand side, so 8 here, and 4 for the 16. So we will get the 7 here. So then just do the point in division. You got the 1 0, then it's value to got a 2 0. Okay. Then after you have to consider okay, what value? 7. Let's see if we'll take the 7. Okay. So I'll get 7, 7 is 49, carry 4, 7 is 56 plus 4, 60, 609, right? So I'll get this value. So I'll just have to write 74.7. Here I'll get 14 plus 19 and 4. Just add this. And there I'll get how much? I'll get 91. Well, then after I'll just consider by 9. Why 9? If you are 9, then you know 9 here. I'll just have to consider 2 0 here. I'll do it by 9. So I'll get what? 9, 9, 81. Carry 2. I carry 8. 9, 4, 36. Plus 8 will give you 44. Carry 4. 9 81 plus 485. You do the subtraction. 
so you will have to find you will finally you will get the answer as here I just did it here and I got it 0 0.79583152331 and so on and didn't find any repeating value as the decimal expansion of this number is non terminating and non recurring therefore this is an irrational number ok if you are talking about 225 which is very easy 225 and just do it by the square root method just consider 15 here 15 15 30 15 15 yeah, 225 ok so it's 15 times 0 so remainder as a 0 this is having the 15 this can be written as p by q form as well p is 15 this q form so yeah it's a rational number and it can be expressed in p by q form let's talk about 0 0.3796 as the decimal expansion of this number is terminating right you will see the 0 0.3796 so it's already stated that it's a terminating value so yeah so if it's terminating it's a rational number Let's talk about 7.478 478 so i find it 478 and 478 is the repeating value hence as a decimal expense of this number is non-terminating recurring therefore it is a rational number let's talk about the ninth one which is 1.101001 as this decimal expense of this number is non-terminating non-repeating because no pattern is 10100140140 one zero, one double zero, one four, triple zero, one four zero. so it's not a remember this very important concept it's not a repeating and non-terminating i hope this is clear to you so this is how i'm done with this exercise thank you for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up thank you